So today we are going to look at how to automate your invoicing inside of Wave. This is going to make your life so much easier. So once you've signed into Wave, you want to click over here on the Invoices tab. So the first thing that we want to do, this is going to be really helpful for if you're having to create one-off invoices. So if you're just creating a one-off invoice, you're not working with a particular client month after month, you're going to come to the Invoices tab, you're going to click Create an Invoice. Now what you want to have ahead of time to save you time in your invoicing is have your customers already entered into Wave or you can add them from right here. So you can click create a new customer and you can add them on the fly, which is fantastic. And all you're required to include is their name. You can change this other stuff later. And if you're going to email it to them, then you want to enter their email there. So now that you've entered the customer information, you want to make sure that you're dating your invoice correctly. So you want to have the date that you're going to send it. So you may be doing this ahead of time. If you have time on Tuesday to do your invoicing, but you end up not sending them until the 15th, then you want to change the date to when you're actually going to send it. And then you also want to make sure that you set your payment terms. So whether it's on the day that you send it or whether it's 15 days later or the first of the next month, however you set that up. I mean, now since we're talking about services, we want to add the items. An important thing to really help you on automating your invoicing is making sure that you have all of your services entered into Wave. Now if you have decided to do a new service, you can also add it on the fly here. So now you can send this invoice. That's technically all you need to send an invoice in Wave. You can add details in the footer. You can add a note. Thank you. Um, and you can add details, change the invoice number, or you can add other details up here to change your business information. But again, all of this is done in the settings ahead of time. So if you have customize your settings before you start invoicing, then this is going to be a really fast process for you. And I go over that in a different video. So once you've done all of this, you hit save. Once your invoice is saved, then you can take two steps. You can leave it. It's currently in draft mode. So you can approve it or you can edit it. If you approve it, it'll just go into being due. If you click more actions, you can also save it as a PDF, you can duplicate it, you can print it, you can get the link. So we always wanna approve it once we know we're done and then you can either send it or skip sending if for some reason you're recording something someone's already sent you. But if we're sending this, we wanna send, we've got the email and it will send directly from wave or you can connect it with one of your email providers. I prefer to send it directly from wave. It works great for me. My clients have never had an issue. You can also attach it as a PDF to this email or send a copy to yourself as well. So I'm just going to hit send. Now your invoice has been sent. That's how simple it is to send an invoice in wave. And now that you've sent it, you can also set up automatic reminders so that your clients don't forget to pay you. So especially if you send out invoices that may not be due right away, they're due in two weeks or a month or something like that, you can have it set to send a reminder on the due date or you can send late reminders, say a week after, hey, you haven't paid me yet, you need to get, I need to get paid. So. That's how to send a one-off invoice. But say you started working with a client and you're gonna be billing them the same amount every single month. Now what you can do is convert this invoice to a recurring invoice. So just by clicking Make Recurring, it's gonna recreate this invoice every single month on the date, at the interval, and the amount that you set it up for. 
So say I want this to go every one month and it's going to start on October 1st. And right now I'm going to set it to never end so it'll just keep going. And then what you can do is either set it to automatically go out to your customer so you know you aren't going to have to make any changes to it. You just need to send it and they'll pay it and that's good. Or if you don't, it's going to have it waiting for you to then send. So if you have a recurring service with a client, then I always suggest to turn it on automatically. So that's going to create the invoice and send it to your customer. But this also means that if you need to edit that invoice, you have to get in there before the first and edit it. Otherwise, the changes won't come in. Um, it defaults your reminder, so maybe you only want to have an after due date reminder if it doesn't get paid. You can also add your subheadings and footers if you want some extra notes in there. And once you've set that up, then you just save and create a new, create invoice now. So now that invoice is going to be sitting in your recurring tab. So it's always going to go out on the first of each month. Right now it says it's scheduled. So it's going to, the first one is going to come out the first of the next month. And then once you have a few that have gone out, it'll show you how many you created and the total of the invoice. So it's just really handy. If you are a service-based business and you provide an ongoing monthly service for your clients, then this is an excellent way to save a ton of time by turning all of those invoices into recurring invoices and you don't have to go in and create invoices every single week, month, quarter, whatever works for you. 